Hi, my name is Susara and I'm a board member at the Coalition of Asian American Leaders, also known as CAL. We are a social justice network comprised of over 4,500 leaders who are committed to fighting for a better future for all communities in Minnesota and beyond. And if you're watching this video, you might be a little rusty at folding a paper crane or completely new, and that's okay, I've got you covered. It's not as hard as it looks. Let's get started. Before we start folding our crane, we need a square sheet of paper. If you don't have one, that's okay. I don't either, so I'm going to show you how to trim this sheet of paper into a square. Take the top corner of the paper and fold it across diagonally into a triangle and crease. As you can see, there's a flat below the square and that's the part that we're going to remove. You can either cut it with a scissor or like me, give it a sharp crease and then tear it off. Now we have our square and we can begin folding it into a crane. Step 1. If you already had a square sheet of paper to begin with, just like the previous step, fold it in half diagonally into a triangle like so. Then we're going to do this again but with the opposite side. When you open the paper back up, you'll see four triangles or a perfectly shaped X. To see my folds a little bit easier, I shaded each section. By the way, this shaded side is the front and the plain side is the back. Next, flip the paper so the shaded side is facing down and fold the paper in half to form a rectangle. Open the paper back up. I'm going to shade in where we made the fold for you to see. Now we're going to want a perpendicular crease like this. Rotate the paper and fold it in half into a rectangle again. I'm shading in the crease to show you that we now have a cross. And flip your paper back to the front. On to the third step, rotate the paper like this to be a diamond shape. We're now going to fold the paper along the creases we made in the previous step, turning it into a collapsible square like so. And because this step is a little tricky, I'm going to show you how I fold it one more time. There will be flaps on the bottom, whereas the top is going to have all the folds. And the edges are going to look like this. On to step 4, we're going to fold this into the shape of a kite by first taking the bottom edge of the green flap, lifting it to align with the center, and then creasing it down. Then, I'm going to repeat the step with the pink flap. It should mirror the green side, like so. Then, I'm going to flip this over and repeat this step with the purple and turquoise flaps. And as you can see, this becomes the shape of a kite. On our kite, there's a triangle flap at the top. Fold this over like so on both sides. This is going to help guide our other folds in the upcoming steps. And now, we're going to undo our folds from the previous step, like so, and bring it to the shape of a diamond. In this next step, I'm lifting up one of the flaps, and I'm shading in the creases to show you where we're going to be folding against next. As shown here, I shaded in four creases. This is what we're going to be folding against. Holding the bottom diamond tip down, lift the top flap and fold it over the creases I shaded in. You'll notice this will fold in nicely because of the creases we made in step four. And as you can see here, we've got a narrower diamond. Then flip it over and repeat on the other side, like so.
When you're done, the top will have folds like this and the bottom will have legs. And on to the next part. Similar to step four, we're going to fold this into the shape of a kite again. Take the bottom edge of the green cloth, lift it to align with the center and then crease it down. Then repeat this step with the pink flap. It should mirror the green side. And then we're going to flip this over and repeat the step for the turquoise and purple flaps. And once again, we've transformed from diamond to kite. Like turning the page of a book, take the green flap and fold it over to the center with the pink flap at the same time and then crease it down. Flip it and do the same thing with the turquoise and purple flaps. We're essentially inverting the folds and this shape reminds me of the face of a fox. Next, take the bottom tip and fold it up as high as you can. Then flip it over and repeat on the other side. Like before, take the right pink flap and fold it over to the center with the left turquoise flap at the same time and then crease it down. Then flip it and repeat on the other side with the green and purple flaps. Okay, we're getting so close. We now have the body of our crane. On to the easiest and most rewarding step, fold down the wings. And now our final step. Pull the right side forward a little bit and crease it down. This will be the crane's neck. Then take the top tip and fold it over to create the crane's head. And because I'm right-handed, I'm gonna flip this, then I'm gonna pull the right side a little bit to angle it out. This is gonna become the tail of the crane. And we're done. At this point, you can pull the wings out a little bit to inflate the body, or what I did was I folded the bottom corners of the crane so it can stand on its own. have our paper crane. All you need to do next is take a photo or a video of your paper crane, post it to your social media accounts, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, put in the hashtag paper crane wish and share with us your hope or your wish for the future and nominate three of your friends by tagging them. In this time of much needed love and hope, I really appreciate you joining our challenge. For more information on this campaign, check out our website, link in the description. And on behalf of Cal, we're wishing you a safe, warm, and happy holidays.